Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your caps. Here now to perform God Bless America, please welcome back Boney James. <laughs> Another baseball game in this National League Championship Series in the chase for that coveted World Series ring. The Giants and the Cardinals may have to go at it one more time. The Angels wait the winner. It'll be Jason Schmidt for the Giants, Woody Williams for the Cardinals. If there's a game, it'll be back in St. Louis Wednesday, 8 Eastern, and midnight Greenwich Mean Time. You know, I really thought the Cardinal fans, they were so fired up for that series against Arizona, and about half the energy seemed to come from their fans in the two games against the Giants. If the Cardinals are able to hold this lead and get it back there, I bet we see more of the same that we've seen here in this three game series. This will be the third Giant pitcher, left hander Scott Ayer, 29 years old. A double switch as Dunstan has come into the ball game in right field. So Dunstan will be batting ninth and leading off the next inning. A pitcher's duel in this one. Rodriguez worked an inning, gave up a run on two hits. He is now the pitcher of record for the Giants. Morris has gone the distance for the Cardinals. Two walks, one intentional, three strikeouts, couple of hit batters, and just no runs. I'll tell you what, there's no sign of. Tony Russo even thinking about making a change. J.D. Drew is at the plate. Swung on and missed. Eduardo Perez out of the lineup. And Drew in. You know, taking a look at the giant bullpen, Tim Morrell's not throwing like a guy just taking a walk in the park. He looks like he's getting ready. And this is just going to be a one batter appearance for Scott Air. 0 2 count taken outside and a one ball two strike count drew put in the ball game defensive purposes in right field where Eduardo Perez has started because of the left hander started by the Giants so with drew coming to the plate that's why the left hander air was called out of the bullpen try and get a big out here one ball two strike count on drew. Rounds that one down to first. That is a fair ball. Snow. Drew is out of there. One down in the eighth. And that will be it for Air. As he'll get the one out on the left hander and then come out of the ball game. Late in the game, every out matters. Giants down one nothing. Chance to wrap up the National League pennant. Trying to keep it just there. One zip. Air out. Tim Morrell coming on. The Cardinals leading the Giants. One to nothing. Exactly the same thing happened yesterday with Scott Air and JT Drew. Breaking ball away. Ground ball to first base. The problem was, look at Air. He didn't get over there. JT Snow assumed that he was going to cover, and he didn't. On this play, JT says, wait a minute, don't worry about it, bud. I'll take it myself. Look at that. He, he, Scott Harris still wouldn't have beat him. No chances by Snow on that one. Ayers out of there. Worrell is on. Tim Worrell making his fourth appearance in this series. Two and two-thirds innings. Has given up a run and a hit. You got to stay on him. A lot of off-speed stuff away. Renteria. That's a fair ball. He's out. Ball's dropped. He's still out. 
Throw to first. He's still out. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is it? Catcher unassisted, or is it catcher to first? Home plate umpire indicated that he was out, and the ball was dropped in an attempt to start throwing it around the infield. All right. Well, we've got a first baseman unassisted play on the first out. So now I think this is the most embarrassing play of all for a hitter. I mean, you strike out is one thing, but when you ground out to the catcher three times. <laughs> How many times you see a hitter ground out to the catcher three times? You can see right there. He's trying to pull everything right now. Edgar Renteria, more than anybody, needs that off day tomorrow to get his stroke back for a possible game six. Renteria is gone. Couple of hits, two singles, and four at bats. We're in the eighth inning, two down, nobody on. Eli Marrero up. Morris pitching a two hit shutout for the Cardinals trying to extend their season and take it back to St. Louis. An awkward swing a no play. Just made at first by Kent. Laurel fell down couldn't get it. Marrero not a speedy runner still made it a pretty close play but Jeff Kent gets the out. One two three inning. We go to the bottom half of the eighth. Dunstan will lead it off. Our National League Championship Series is surfing right along here. Oops. That's kind of what happened so far to the Giants tonight. That looked like Kenny Lofton going after that fly ball that was hit by Mike Matheny. That's the difference thus far, but we've got a big six outs left for these San Francisco Giants. John Dunstan will get his first at bat as he came on in the double switch to play right field and the veteran takes it inside for Morris for ball one. Dunstan has had just one appearance prior to this and he has not had a base hit in one at bat or no at bats actually for him in the series. I bet he didn't walk. Sacrifice. Pretty good chance. We're talking about the the walks that Barry Bonds has picked up. Barry Bonds had 198 walks this year. Sean Dunstan in an 18 year career, 18 years, has 203 walks. Well, Barry passed him with all of these in the postseason. Bonds has had more walks in one year than Dunstan has had in 18 years in the majors. That means he'll draw a walk. Swung out, I missed. One ball, one strike, and Rick Morris is still bringing it with authority. You know what? He, he, he's pitching for even more than the St. Louis Cardinal teammates that are in uniform here tonight. He knows. Dunstan to third foul. And he's told me this the last couple of months. He reminded me of it. When we got here to San Francisco, he's got an opportunity to pick up a World Series ring for Daryl Kyle. That's right. And you this go to his is, family. And this is Daryl's last chance. Something that he always wanted and always dreamed of. And believe me, that is on not only Matt's mind, but his wife Flynn, their daughter Sierra, and of course Cannon, who we have seen as a bat boy for the Cardinals throughout the series. One, two, and he's gone. A wicked. Yacker from Morris his fourth strikeout and he had Dunstan jelly legged on that one. Is that Matt Morris or is that a combination of Daryl Kyle on the hill. That's Daryl's curveball and that's exactly how most right handed hitters reacted to DK when he was on the mound. Look at the determination in Matt and you know what I got to give him a lot of credit for being able to control all of those emotions. I mean your mind's into it your heart's into it your body's into it. Look at him looking up and above saying just get me home get me five more outs. One down here in the eighth inning top of the order Lofton. He has single been hit by a pitch and flied out. Still just two hits on the board for the Giants Lofton single in the sixth inning and Bell's double that came in the fifth. Morris with another breaking ball foul tipped into the mitt strike two. Gary put in a different position. You saw the breaking ball that started at Dunstan for strike three came back to the inside corner. You saw one of the outside corner for strike one to Lofton. Up the middle. Lofton's got a base hit. 
So Loft and the speedster representing the potential tying run is on here in the eighth with one away. Hard to understand. You get a first pitch strike on a curveball. You get the second on a curveball. And now all of a sudden you start thinking a little bit. You throw a fastball, he can handle it. He hits it on the ground, and with the speed of Kenny Lofton, that's always a good thing. Warm up action is Nin, the closer, begins to get ready if the Cardinals are unable to hold on to the lead here. Well, look at the pitch here. Look at this. I mean, normally that's a real good pitch, but not after a guy has looked real bad on your curveball. One down. Aurelia, Kent, and then Bonds do up. Fastball down low to Rich Aurelia. He's been hit by a pitch, sacrificed, and has struck out. One down here, so he's going to be asked to hit. Aurelius had four hits in 14 at bats in the series. That one's going to be a base hit into left field. Rich Aurelia. What a player Rich Aurelia has become. Last year, without a question, the best shortstop in the National League. He had 37 homers with 97 RBIs. This year, he was injured most of the year. But when he was in the lineup, the San Francisco Giants were 82 and 46 without him seven games under 500. Now the Cardinals have not had any warm up action in their bullpen. Dave Duncan's gone out to the mound and the bullpen is just now scurrying to get Klein the left hander and Veers ready to go. Right now it's more about Steve Klein and it won't take him long to get ready. He's, he's been in that role many many times. He knows how to use the eight warm up pitches you get once you get to the real mound. He'll be ready and so will Barry Bonds. The dramatics of postseason play in Major League Baseball right here in the eighth inning. Kent's got to be looking breaking ball here. He got fooled on it in his last at bat with a couple of men on hitting in to that double play to third base. You got to have breaking ball in the back of your mind. All for three in the game. The Giants have now equaled in the first two hitters in the eighth the total number of hits two that they had through the first seven innings. Breaking ball hitting didn't break and the bases are loaded for Barry Bonds. thing that could have happened for the Cardinals. First of all, it's the third time Matt Morris has hit somebody tonight. Also, this one happened on the first pitch, which means Steve Klein really has to hustle now to get ready. Barry Bonds up, bases loaded. Back bell is rocking. See, here we go again. Klein got up a little too late. The bullpen has not given Tony La Russa the sign yet that he's ready. That's the move Tony wants to make, but he's got to get the sign from the bullpen before he can do it. Ken Bonds electrify Pac Bell again. A three run homer that tied that game up. As a pitcher, if there's one situation you want to stay away from facing the Giants, you're looking at it right now. Bases loaded and Barry Bonds with a bat in his hand. Bonds 5 for 10 with the bases loaded this year, including one grand slam. That is deep to left field. Marrero at the wall. Runner will tag. Lofton will score. Runner goes to third. Aurelia. It's a 1-1 game.
honestly think Gary if he had Steve Plan ready he would have gone in that direction but he couldn't get warmed up quick enough to get into the ball game. Each team has had a sack fly accounting for the only runs of the ball game. Bonds picks up his six RBI of the series. One one potential go ahead run at third base with two down. He's managing more with his heart now than he is his mind because everything's come up with Matt Morris in this inning. There's not a whole lot left. Santiago can he be a hero again that's a squeeze play it looked like a safety squeeze with two down what I don't know because Cairo wasn't playing that deep I think the one thing he might have been trying to do you put pressure on a guy who's not played a lot of third base you've also got a guy at first base that's not played a lot I think he had bunt for a base hit in his mind. He just didn't get a real good pitch to do that with. This is all on his own. I guarantee you, Dusty Baker was as surprised as you and I were. I really was surprised at third base, I'll tell you that. One strike count, two down. Santiago 0 for 2 today. Grounded to second base. Fernando Vina up with it. Makes the play at first. The Giants get a run on two hits. They leave two on base. We have completed eight. The Cardinals who must win it to keep this season going. We'll go to the ninth inning. The ball game tied at one apiece on one sack. Major League Baseball International's presentation of the 2002 National League Championship Series is being brought to you by MasterCard. There are some things in life money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Gary Thorne, Rick Sutcliffe with you. What a ball game. We go to the ninth inning tied at one. Morris has gone the distance in this game. Klein, the left hander, was not ready. It's as though Tony LaRusa is saying, I don't have anything better in the bullpen than the guy I've got on the mound, and I'm staying there. Well, and you know what else he might have been thinking is that Matt Morris told him before the game started, This is mine. This is mine. Just just leave me alone. I'm gonna win it for you. Because he could have brought Klein in to face Bonds, had him up and ready. Could have made a double switch. He's got Tito Martinez on the bench. Well, he, he also could have put Benito on and gotten Tim Morrell out of the ball game. So there were a lot of what ifs. Tim Morrell stays in the game. Ninth inning, Mike Matheny. And the bullpen is set back down again. In the ninth inning of a 1 1 game that you must win, there's no bullpen action with Morris on deck. He has to have Morris out there just to sacrifice Bunn if Matheny gets on. Matheny is not going to get on. Lofton. One away in the ninth. Morris is going to hit. You know, Martinez, who did not start because a left hander started for the Giants, available on the bench. I'm supposed to explain this, but I, I I can't right now. This is just, I mean, this is your heart. And you know what? They, I, I, Daryl Powell was a great friend. We've had the same agent for years, and, and I know the family. I had dinner with them two nights ago, but I, I don't know that this is the right move. Strike taken. I mean, from the manager's perspective, from Tony Larusa, he has to believe. He doesn't have anything better to put on the mound than Morris. Well, we know Rick White's probably not available. He yep. threw 41 pitches last night. So Morris is going to continue on in the bottom of the ninth inning. One ball, one strike, count one down. You are saying to your bullpen. That's what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and, and you know, that's the way this team was set up. You've got Tony La Russa has 12 pitchers on his staff. You look at the guys that are available. Dusty Baker only started this series with 11 pitchers. He wanted some players to, to move around. The strength of the Cardinals is supposed to be the depth in that bullpen. One two delivery on the way outside. Two ball two strike count. So Tony La Russa was asked questions about decisions made yesterday including not having the left hander up to come on. Going to be asked about it again. The official lineup card, the lineup card hanging in the dugout. 
Morris trying to fight his way on here fouls it back two ball two strike out one run on eight hits for the Cardinals one run on four hits for the Giants the Cardinals have left nine base runners on in the ball game. the Giants didn't get a base runner until the fourth inning they have left seven Tim Worrell now the pitcher of record for the Giants facing Morris his opposition 2 2 delivery he's battling I'll tell you what you know how you always know where Barry Bonds is in the lineup that shot we just had of Miguel Cairo if I'm Tim Morrell I want to go one two three and stay away from him he has been that good not only in this whole series and in the series before that with the big hits and the clinching game three against Arizona he's come up huge tonight for the Cardinals. He would be the fourth hitter in the inning if they get that far. Two ball two strike delivery. Got him. First strikeout for Worrell. It's hard to believe for two reasons to me. It, it looked like Matt Morris was starting to lose it in the last inning. A curveball got away from him that hit Jeff Kent. The fastball was up to Aurelia for a base hit. He got away with the fastball up to Bonds. Fortunately, he got the last out. I mean, that fatigue factor is starting to come in. The other point is, at that time, you're down to two outs in a nine-inning ball game, and you're going to send a pitcher up there to swing the bat for one of them? Yes, he did. Fernando Vigna with two down, nobody on. Vigna, the only RBI for the Cardinals. Sack fly, seventh inning. He has had an 0 for 3 in the ball game and 5 for 22 in the series. The Giants with a chance to wrap up the National League pennant ninth inning of a 1 1 game. Worrell misses outside 2 0 on Vino. See, Worrell looks like he's dealing right now, right? But things happen and they happen quickly. Dusty Baker just one step ahead right now, getting his closer ready in case Vina would get on and also Cairo. You got a couple of guys on. I don't want Tim Worrell to be the guy that beats me. They're going to have to beat Rob Lynn, and that's what Dusty's thinking right now. And is warming up seriously now after standing and watching. 2 0 deliver to Vina. He takes that one for a strike. You got to throw strikes. You got to throw hard strikes, and you got to throw them away to use the big part of the park. You don't worry about Vina hitting a home run to the opposite field. Then you're 0 for four off Laurel. Bunts it, a drag bunt, and a good one. Can't come and can't make the play. He knew he had to hurry it, and the only chance was a barehanded pickup and flip. And Vina, with a drag bunt, is on with two down in the ninth inning. Most of the time, that's not a good play because with two outs, everybody says hit a double, get into scoring position. I think it's a good play in this situation because of number 41. Look at the hustle by Vina, Kent doing everything he can. JT Snow getting over there. Who's number 41? That's Miguel Cairo, who's standing at home plate. We've had some great baseball games played in this series, and this is. Looks like it's going to be the best of the series. Two down, Vina at first base. Cairo has had two hits, two singles. One for seven off Worrell. Fastball by him. Foul tip for a strike. Miguel Cairo getting the start at third base, his second start of the series. And for Jim Edmonds, he got a 455 average off Tim Morrell. You better start looking at Rob Nen because that's the guy you're going to see if Cairo can extend the inning. Nine hits now for the Cardinals. Laurel gets a two strike count on Cairo. You know what the crowd wants. They want the strikeout. Tim Morrell thinking exactly the same thing and if I'm thinking along with Tim Morrell I try to get that zone to expand a little bit. We've seen some inconsistency tonight. See if you can get a little bit more and give them what they want. You 
straight outside. 0 2 count. Vina will go back to first base. Vina has good speed on any base hit, especially a gapper. Keep that in mind. But he would not chase. One ball, two strike out on Miguel Cairo. Cairo, this is kind of like a pinch hitting appearance here. This is the type of guy he would have always faced this year. And he was as good as it came in the National League pinch hitting. He had 10 RBIs, which was third best in the National League. Cairo slices that one foul. Ball and two strikes. Not only seeing some of the ability and talent of Miguel Cairo, but also look at the intelligence here. He knows this pitch might be called strike three. Is it off the plate? Yeah, a couple of inches, but you can't take a chance. It might be off the plate in somebody else's strike zone. It's probably not going to be off the plate in the one tonight. Andy Bennis, the starter in yesterday's game, watching. Miguel Cairo working the foul ball to keep his at bat alive. One and two, and he'll step out as Laurel took a little long to get the sign for him. You're looking ahead. You've got Goodwin, Snow, and Bell do up uh, in the bottom half of the order. Or the pitcher, rather, would lead it on. Got him called strike three. Laurel gets two strikeouts in the inning. No runs, a base hit, one left on. The Giants need one run to win their 16th National League pennant. The Cardinals are going to need another inning to keep their season alive. Our MasterCard priceless moment in this ball game, a play you don't see very often, third base. We got to go back to the bottom of the fifth inning. A blue double by David Bell. Benito Santiago, look at third base. Look at the contact made with Miguel Cairo and Benito. Immediately, third base umpire Jeff Nelson pointed obstruction. And then, in his opinion, Benito Santiago could not have scored on that play. Dusty Baker argued, but that is the reason that we have an at-bat here in the bottom of the ninth instead of the Giants drinking champagne. Miguel Cairo involved in it, but it did not cost his team a run. Morris against Martinez. The pinch hitter, Ramon Martinez, leading it off. Martinez was one for six as a pinch hitter during the season. Hit 271 overall. 1-1 one, one ninth inning. One more run. And the Giants go to the World Series against the Angels. Matt Morris is working with a bullpen that is not active. There is nobody throwing for the Cardinals. Martinez wanted a timeout there. I don't think he got it, did he? He did not. And he's fortunate that Morris did not throw a strike there. It's a two ball one strike count that pitch counts and it was a ball. See the bullpen going was that a ball. Rick White on the right. That one is popped up third base. Catcher gets there first Matheny's got it Martinez is retired one away in the ninth inning. How about this performance tonight by Matt Morris. It's unbelievable. How about what Tony La is going to have to answer. I mean if, if they win he'll be a genius if they lose he'll be vilified in St. Louis because he's just said repeatedly in this game it is Matt Morris and nobody else. You know and we're looking at a guy who has had a long year the longest year of Matt Morris's life he's thrown well over 200 innings. I know the pitch count is not as high as it has been, just 95. Strike taken, JT Snow. It's been a long night. It's been a long year. You talk about leaving it all on the field. Matt Morris is doing that. JT Snow to left field. Eli Marrero in the corner. Two down. Morris has walked two one intentional. He has struck out four and hit three batters in the game. Morris has given up just four hits two of those coming in the eighth inning. 
And the Giants got on the board. The sack fly by Bonds, accounting for the Giant run. The sack fly by Vina, accounting for the Cardinal run. You know, just hearing you say the name Morris, I flashed back to the Minnesota Twins and Jack Morris. When he won that ball game, Game Seven of the World Series against Atlanta, one to nothing. He wasn't coming out. David Bell's got a base hit in the left center field. Can they hold him to a single? Edmonds up with it. He does. Hustled it back in. Bell's had a double and a single in four at bats. It comes with two down. Joking with Dusty Baker before Game One, I said. What's Sean Dunstan doing on the playoff roster? I know that Sean Dunstan makes any team better just because of his personality and the team type guy that he is. He's got a lot of ability. He's got speed. He's got some power. Dusty said, you watch before it's over. He's going to get a big hit for us. Well, here he comes. And here comes Dave Duncan. You saw Tony La Russa talking to Duncan about getting that bullpen active. They want a left-hander. Ready to go. Duncan's just stalling for time now to give the pen a chance. Steve Klein has already been up once, warmed up extensively. Yeah, Kenny Lofton's had a huge night off of Matt Morris tonight. He lined out to right field in his first at bat. He was hit by a pitch by design in second, and then he followed out with a couple of base hits. The one in the eighth inning eventually led to the only run for the Giants tonight. So Tony Roos is saying right now. This is your last hitter, and he sent that word to Matt Morris through the pitching coach, Dave Duncan. Two down. Sean Dunstan has had one at bat. He was called out on strikes in the eighth inning. Only a couple of at bats so far in this postseason. He's a former Cardinal. He played with the Cardinals a couple of years, 99 and 2000. John Dunson has been around, in fact, the major leagues on a number of ball clubs. We wouldn't know much about Matt Morris from 99 and 2000, though. Matt missed all of 99 with Tommy John surgery. He pitched out of the bullpen in the following year of 2000. Two down, and Dunston's going to step out. Runner at first base, David Bell. Dunstan has gone five for 15 with a home run off Morris in his career. Takes that pitch down low, ball one. Outfield playing very deep to cut off any ball that heads to the gap because it's the extra base hit that might roll to the wall that could give the Giants the pennant. Here we go again. We mentioned earlier, Kirk Reeder in no decisions this year. A perfect 11 and 0 for the Giants. Reeder had an amazing 25 wins, eight losses when he started a game. That one is towards center field. Edmonds will play it on a hop and hold the runner. Bell stops at second base. Dunstan is on. Two down. First and second. It wasn't a game winning hit, but I think it's the hit that got Matt Morris out of this ball game. Take a look at Dusty. Dusty made the decision to keep Matt Morris, to keep Sean Dunstan. Look at that. You just made me look right again. What an interesting situation here. Here comes the nemesis of the Cardinals in this series, the man who's created all the controversy, Kenny Lofton. It's been against Matt Morris that the controversy has occurred from game one when he hit the home run and then the dugouts emptied when he had a ball that came close to him later and then Morris hit him with a pitch in this game. Morris is not going to get a chance to go after him again. And well, Lofton has had two hits and three at bats tonight. Jack Buck once said pardon me while I stand up and applaud. That was quite a performance. Morris is out. Left handers in two down ninth inning. The Giants in league championship play in their history are one win two losses. They won back in 89 to go to the World Series. They lost to the Cardinals in 87. Matt Morris with a tenacious start in this game. Now it is out of his hands. Well, it was 
was an incredible postseason for Kenny Lofton. He hit 350 in the divisional series. He scored three runs in his first three at bats in game one, but he was quiet until tonight. Kenny Lofton two on. That one to right field. Is it going to be the ball game? Up with it. Play coming through. The throw to the plate. The Giants win the pennant. The Giants win the pennant. will go to the World Series in their long history. It is their 16th National League pennant. Kenny Lofton, the story since game one, ends up being the story of the series with a game-winning base hit with two down in the ninth inning. How about them coming up with that run in the ninth inning with three guys that weren't even on their ball club last year? David Bell picked up over the winner, got it started with a base hit. He also won the Willie McCovey Award this year for the Giants. That being the most inspirational player, Sean Dunstan kept on the roster because Dusty Baker believed in him. He got the second hit. And then Kenny Lofton, a trade on July the 28th with the Chicago White Sox. What a huge pickup. They got two players in one. They got a center fielder and a lead off hitter and a game winning base hit tonight. The other thing they did throughout this series was get two out hits. In this ninth inning there were three straight two out singles in this series 15 15 of their 23 runs were scored with two down. You talk about some clutch hitting. The Giants had it and the Cardinals didn't. Well, the only game the Cardinals did have it in was game three, and that was the only victory they picked up in this series. I mean, it just doesn't get any closer than what these two teams have done since game one ended. The St. Louis Cardinals, again, can't get there. Four times in the last seven years, they've made it to the postseason, but will not go to the World Series, and that man takes the loss after pitching a magnificent eight and two thirds innings. Morris responsible for the base runner Bell who got the single and ultimately scored the game winning run. It will be the first wild card World Series Anaheim and San Francisco. The last time the Giants were in the World Series in 89, it was also an all California World Series. It was a Bay World Series with Oakland in it just across the bridge. 
This yeah. time they'll have to travel a little further. Interrupted by an earthquake in that World Series. It almost feels like there's one going on right now. The way this stadium is rocking. And you know what? These fans here in San Francisco deserve some credit because they have brought their A game to the field. Levon Hernandez is one of those who's going to go on to Anaheim and will be in that staff. All right, Levon, let's just hear the feelings. You've been there before. How's this one feel? Yeah, this is sweet. Everybody's waiting for this moment. And I think everybody's in the stands is waiting for this moment. And he do it. He make it, baby. This giant team, tremendous clutch hits in this series LeVon with two down you guys scored more than half your runs with two away you know everybody's know it's over in here at home we win two games in San Luis and lost the first game and win yesterday and you know it's tight game in the eight to, uh, today everybody know uh, somebody go and tight game and and this is staying over here the game is over in the night LeVon, it's Rick Sutcliffe. Congratulations, buddy. You've been to the World Series before. You're going back. What is it about you in the postseason? I don't know. I don't know that. I got secrets, but I can't tell nobody because it's only my secret for, I think, for my teammates, too. And, you know, this is great. Uh, I feel like a, I think it's the best moment in baseball when you make it the World Series. And you need to win four games now and win the World Series. How would you like to say in your own language, uh, hello to your homeland? Go ahead. Okay, say hola a todos en Miami, los queremos, y a toda la comunidad latina y que nos están viendo, y a mi mamá, a todo el mundo me, en Miami, y bueno, los queremos mucho, y estamos contentos aquí, y bueno, los esperamos aquí en la Serie Mundial. Miami. Levant, thank you very much. Okay, muchas gracias, amigo. Okay, gracias. Young man growing up in Cuba probably never expected to have an opportunity to be playing in a World Series not once but twice. They tried to take the game of baseball away from him there. Yeah. Now the celebration as the plastic covers the lockers so that the equipment and uniforms and clothes are totally destroyed. The San Francisco Giants have won it. They do it at home. And they do it in the bottom of the ninth inning with two down. Partner, we're going to Disneyland, and you know what? The Giants are going with us. All three games here in Pac Bell ended up being one run contests, going down to the last pitch of the ball game. For Barry Bonds, he will finally get the opportunity to be in a World Series. He was wondering whether that was going to happen. He is 38 years old, having one of his best seasons ever. And obviously the entire postseason to this point has centered around what do you do about Bonds in the lineup. They are still roaring. Ninth inning single by Bell single by Dunstan Lofton comes to the plate. Klein comes out of the bullpen to away bottom of the night. You know we don't know if he's the best player ever in the history of the game. He's certainly in that conversation. And he gets to go to the World Series that being Barry Bonds because of this. Kenny Lofton with another hit. He has scored the run in the eighth inning. He drives in the run in the ninth inning. Wow. Benito Santiago said after the ball game last night I don't know what I will do if we make it to the World Series Benito Santiago what'd you do oh my god I just keep jumping around this is emotional for me especially with everything I went through those long long time behind the plane getting hit by ball swinging all the time it's paying off great I told you again I can describe it man this is great Benito, take us back to the phone call you had with Dusty Baker and how he believed in you right off the bat. Oh, my God, I can't wait to go and hug this guy again. This guy put me in the game again, and he gave me all the opportunities saying we got, but I put a lot of efforts on me. Never was too late. Never been too late. I just want to tell those guys out there that if I go with what I went through, don't give up. There's always a door open up there. 
Benito, you have said you've had the role of being behind Barnes in the lineup. And as a professional baseball player, you take it personally that they're willing to walk Barnes and take a chance with you. Well, I am. I got to take it personally. And when I say today, they, hit, they, they preach to the guy. They preach to the guy today. And that's what I want. I want this guy to be making some swing at there so he can put all that talent that he had for my team. Well, you have made him pay. Benito Santiago from Puerto Rico is being mobbed on the field. Is he the MVP of this National League Championship Series? I guess that's the end of our interview. That is the end of the interview. <laughs> we have not heard yet who the MVP of this League Championship Series is, but he should be it, and he certainly ought to get some votes. It was said before the postseason even started when it came to the Giants it was not going to be so much what Bonds did it was going to be what did the guys around him do hitting in front of him and hitting behind him Benito Santiago has answered that question in this postseason by hitting by doing what he was called on to do in order for the Giants to win when teams would not let Bonds be the one to make the difference. They're just waiting. Why leave? The trophy presentation. Good job. Not only building this ball club, but building this great ballpark. It's a great honor to call San Francisco Giants the 2002 National League champions. Thank you very much, Bill. We know we beat a great team, the St. Louis Cardinals. I'd like to say to the Cardinals, they put up a hell of a fight. The Atlanta Braves, same thing. Thank you, Peter. Brian Sabian put this team together. Brian, congratulations. Speechless, thank you. What an honor. The Cardinal organization and team was a great opponent. It was baseball like I'd never seen. My heart's still throbbing and my head's still pounding. So the good guys won. We got a bunch of good people in this organization. I'm so happy for everybody in it. You had a terrific effort by a lot of guys, right? A lot of different guys. And, you, and the guy that you acquired on July 28th, Kenny Lofton, ends up getting the, the game-winning hit. No, no question. He had a roller coaster series, but in the end, he got the big hit. Uh, he's a pro. Some of these guys, or a lot of these guys in this clubhouse are in the last roundup, so I'm so happy for them. My heart's really breaking right now because you're in a tenuous situation. They win that game, and who knows what the hell happens if you got to go back to St. Louis. And to do it with two outs in front of our home crowd will be remembered forever. Is it too early to ask? Tim McCarver downstairs with a presentation of the pennant trophy signifying the Giants have won it in the National League and World Series bound check one off only one time in the history of the wild card has the wild card gone on to win the world championship that's going to change World Series tickets there was a long line here to get them people were lined up all day to purchase World Series tickets the first two games in Anaheim and uh, Rick Benito Santiago is the MVP of the National League Championship Series. How about that? I mean, you, you just can't come any farther than what he has. He was out of the game. Nobody believed in him. He couldn't get a job. Dusty Baker received a phone call from a former teammate of his, Paul Casanova. He said he's ready and he's in great shape. Dusty believed him. Yep. Talked Brian Sabian into bringing him to spring training for a tryout. Well, look at what he's doing now. He's got a trophy to take home. Just magnificent. Benito Santiago, you heard him say, I can't wait to get in and give a hug to Dusty Baker. Puerto Rico's got to be mighty proud of a great citizen and a tremendous leader on this ball club now in the rejuvenated career of Benito Santiago. So here we go to the World Series. We don't leave the state of California. Saturday Anaheim, 7.30 Eastern Time. Sunday, same place, 7.30. Then we'll be back here at Pac Bell for games 3, 4, and 5. All will be 8 o'clock starts Eastern Time. If necessary, games 6 and 7 would go back to Anaheim again for 7.30 starts. So the state of California's got 
an American League and a National League pennant winner. And how about the improbable MVPs of both of those series? Benito here and Adam Kennedy. Let's get it on. Yes, sir. They are ready to go. World Series 2002 is now set. It'll start on Saturday. It means a long rest for both teams, so they're both going to come into it ready to go. Two to one the final. The Giants win it. We're all 2 0 oh in postseason. Morris 1 and 2. The Giants take the series four games to one. Same way the American League series went four games to one the Giants and the Angels Saturday 730 Eastern that'll be 1130 Greenwich Mean Time for game one of the 2002 wild card World Series and Benito Santiago may have come down off the ceiling by then and be able to catch it so it was a setting set on the St. Louis Cardinals this ballpark packed tonight with the Giants having an opportunity to wrap it up at home. They did not want to have to go back to St. Louis to play a game six and or seven. Two great starts tonight. Kirk Reeder gave up no runs over six on the side of the Giants. Matt Morris ended up going eight and two thirds. He would take the loss. Disputed play on the interference call on a run that didn't score. Lofton unable to make a catch on a ball that looked like it should have been caught. Looked like the Cardinals were finally going to get some breaks and get it going right. But as Yogi Berra says, till it's over, folks, don't go away. Well, the dreams of the Giants would prove to come down to the ninth inning. It's Bell at a single, Dunstan at a single, and then Lofton, the game-winning RBI, and the Giants have their 16th National League pennant. For Rick Sutcliffe and all of our crew, I'm Gary Thorne. Wherever you are, thank you for joining us. World Series Saturday.